final day at DFS Crufts, it was the toy and utility groups that would be strutting their stuff in a bid to make the final two places in the best in show lineup. This year's Friends for Life competition once again celebrated the incredible stories of friendship in adversity. Through bravery, support or companionship, the dogs have truly earned the title of Man's Best Friend. The five dogs were carefully selected for their outstanding bravery and devotion to their owners. Joanne Day could not imagine life without her assistance dog, Kaiser. I have post-traumatic dystonia, there's a chemical imbalance in my brain that causes my muscles to go into spasm. There isn't much he doesn't do, from bringing in the washing to help undressing me. I tend to open the fridge and he'll get a can out for me, shut the fridge and bring it to me. He's the best man anyone could ever have in their life. Shirley, the medical detection dog, literally keeps seven-year-old Rebecca alive. Rebecca was diagnosed diabetic type 1 when she was four years old. One minute she's absolutely fine, the next minute she can be collapsed on the floor. And uh, that's the reason why we've got Shirley. When Rebecca's sugar levels go too high, Shirley would um, keep licking her hands, licking her legs, and that meant that she, Rebecca would need an injection. Shirley means everything to Rebecca. She's Rebecca's soulmate, and they're always they're inseparable. Rebecca would never ever want to be without Shirley. Jake. Jake the sniffer dog risked his life to search the bus wreckage after the London 7/7 bombings. On 7/7, we received the call to go to Tavistock Square. When I arrived, I was approached by an off-duty police officer who had looked on the bus and saw what he believed to be a secondary device. We couldn't let any more people onto the bus until we'd cleared it, so I conducted a search with Jake. Jake gave me no indication that there was anything suspicious with that box, so I declared that the bus was safe. If ever there was a time that I had to trust Jake, it was that day, and I trusted him implicitly. I absolutely adore him, love him to bits. He's, uh, he's my little mate who comes to work with me every day. Support dog Merlin has helped turn around the life of 10-year-old Grace. Grace has autism and she has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Before Merlin, she used to suffer from terrible separation anxiety. Even if one of us went out from home, she didn't think we'd be coming back. She often would say, that's it, I'll never see them again. And now you just say goodbye to her and she's got Merlin with her and she settles. And the difference is phenomenal. She does still get upset about things, but he's there and he gives her a nice and really soft velvety nose, and it's all right again. Echo, the search and rescue dog, refused to give up his search in Haiti despite suffering himself. When the earthquake struck in Haiti, a Great Mountain Fire Rescue Service were on call and it was Echo's turn to be deployed. When we got off the plane at Haiti, it was probably 100 degrees plus but we were sent out immediately to start searching. Echo took it in his stride. He's just an all-round character. He searches really, really well. He's like the ultimate searcher, if you like. He's a good friend. He's not just my work partner, he's my best friend as well. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> After a public vote, it was an emotional Joanne who was presented the special Friends for Life trophy. I'm speechless, I, I'm just, to have him recognised is everything to me. That if I didn't have him, I would be sitting here laughing and smiling. And if canine partners haven't uh, trained him and given him to me, we wouldn't be sitting here now. And it's just. I'd like to thank them for all the hard work they put in and Kaiser because he's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Best friend anyone could ever have and I am so happy.
In the penultimate judging rounds, the splendid Theo, owned by Sharon Pine Haynes, won the utility group. And it was Eric, owned by our delighted Michael Code in the toy group, that secured the final spot in the best in show lineup. For almost 22,000 dogs and over 150 breeds, it was down to the final seven to battle out for best in show. Italian judge Paolo Dondina had a tough job, but it was flat-coated retriever Jet, co-owned by John Irvine, that was the top dog and was awarded the 2011 DFS Crufts Best in Show. Well, this is, as I said earlier, this is the ultimate appointment, the ultimate um, win in, in the dog world. To win at Crufts is the, everyone's wish. So to say we're delighted is, is an understatement. It's a